can't count on that. For what? Maybe I just need to switch my weapons. So I can start casting spells here. Let me try this. This might be the end of me because I switched here. I don't have my move set that I'm used to. Shoot him, sorry. Boom, take that. What do you think of that? Did we do it again? What do you think? Attack when it reels. The heart of it. Yeah. What do you think? We're gonna do it again. I'm sorry, buddy. We got to. Boom. What about that? Oh man, we're so close. Find those fangs. Shoot that fire all you want. Come on. There you go. I'm sorry, buddy. We had to. Now we gotta make sure we hit him. Boom. Oh, but it didn't do shit. Oh. That was weird. The first two did a lot, but that one didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make this now. I feel like my last resort moves right there. Cause I got no healing left.
It's just a pain in the ass getting close to. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like, screw you. Try to. Woo! I dodged into a dark soul cell. Oh, I was right there. I'm gonna fall for that twice. left to heal with. It sucks.
us out, goddamn. Spells gnarly. He's trying to grab me. It's a pervert. Oh god, we're both just so worn out, we don't have anything left. But he's got more left than I do. Oh, I saw that coming. item I had we were out of heels, out of stamina, shot every pawn heart, pawn soul we had at him. Oh. It makes men doubt always. Eat me well, Arisen. That was a hard fight. In my death, you won a future for this world. But what that future spells for you, for all men, is a truth you'll find staring back from this world's most dead. Uh oh. What? I don't know why that happens. That happened the last time I beat him too. The city caves in and you become like public enemy number one by defeating the dragon. So I think that the dragon was holding together the realm a little Arisen. bit. You have earned back what is yours. By destroying him, whatever he was holding up has now crumbled. the other dragon, all the other arisen, 
and Dragon Forest are fading into nothing. Duke Edmund, they all accepted his deal. And they got to be powerful and live forever. But he kept their hearts. And they got to rule the realm. And we chose the opposite. We threw off his reins of power. We will not rule the realm, but we freed the realm of all these others that were controlling it, I guess. We're a slave to the dragon. Is what I understand. I don't know. Could be dead wrong. You guys let me know. I don't know why she's the one we're rescuing. She was a crazy, crazy ass lady. So that's supposed to be our love in the story? Our love interest is her? See, the, the main story leaves a lot to be desired, I'll tell you that. But that's it, guys. That's the last boss in the story, and that's the climactic end battle right there. And holy smokes, that was tight. Best advice is bring more than a than you think you need as far as stamina and healing and all that. Bring more than you think you need because you're right up on the line right there. The dragon was played by David Lodge. I have no idea who that is. So, overall, Dragon's Dogga is an A-plus outstanding RPG for many reasons. The three specific reasons I can think of, and I'll mention them here, are the pawn system, all your allies and how they help you out, and everything that goes into that is super unique. And I haven't really seen anything that mirrors that. Oh, look at this. There we go, girls. That mirrors that um, or replicates it at all or even tries to. It's really strange and unique to me. Also, the battling. The actual physical combat, how you hold the controller or play with your mouse and keyboard, and how it actually interfaces with the combat, how responsive it is, how many decisions and choices you can make, how much of it you can control is super fun. One of the most fun systems I've ever played. And that's even with the having to pause all the time to use items kind of menu, which I don't like to do. I like quick keys and hot keys for that kind of stuff. It makes it feel better, um, smoother. Then thirdly would be the platforming, guys. All the platforming and the open world exploration. This is one of the few games where you can go from the very beginning area or run to the very end area almost and find like a bunch of cool weapons. Then you can use those end game weapons throughout the entirety of your playthrough. And the way that night and day differentiates danger levels in this game, if you go out at night, it's much more dangerous. If you stay in the daytime, it's much less dangerous. If you stay on the beaten path, it's much less dangerous. If you get off the beaten path, all of a sudden it's way more dangerous. But the rewards are way better. Treasure chests abound throughout the open world. And it's a true open world, like I said, where you could run from one end to the other right after you start the game. That to me is super interesting. Filled with very cool monsters, very cool battles. Some of more which we'll do here is the end game content. Um, and continue this playthrough a little bit. Bitter Black Isle, we'll fight the Hydra, and do some other stuff. <clears throat> but those are the three aspects of this game that I think make it an A+, very unique, must-play, and classic RPG. Now remember, it came out in 2012. The Dark Arisen, I think, came out in 2014, which was just some DLC, Bitter Black Isle. Um, and now here we are in 2024, March, have Dragon's Dogma 2 coming out here pretty soon. We're going to get a let's play of that, a blind let's play. We've watched no footage at all of it. I have absolutely no idea what the story is. If it's even in Grannis, if Grand Sword will be a part of it, I have no idea. I imagine it will be. But we'll find out. Some of the down spots and cons of this game, I would say, just to touch on a few of them, would be the... Obviously, like, little things I don't hold against them, like the facial animations on the NPCs and stuff like that. I think that should have been done a little bit better and cleaned up, and it's not so bad in some other games that were around the same time. But I'll forgive that. As the times move on and technology gets better and developers get better, that stuff gets cleaned up. What I will say is the main story leaves a lot to be desired. Like I said, there's a lot of holes in it. Lack of depth, lack of character development, lack of any kind of heart and feel about it. What's going on here? We're back in our village. 